there was not a whole lot to love makeup wise that came out this month hey guys madison Monroe here welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel um i just filmed the anti-haul video and that was most of what came out this month <laughs> um for the month of june i think the anti-haul is gonna go up first um we talk about like a few of the pride collections that came out that i think are cash grabs because i mean there's still a lot of products from companies that will come out that are so obviously cash grabs not a whole lot of thought they just kind of slap a rainbow on it and that'd be it i did feel bad for dragon the morphe one that literally literally they just slapped a rainbow on it and released a rainbow palette but they partnered with the trevor project and it kind of made me feel bad because you know i love the trevor project i linked it in my last video if you want to donate go there or i'll link it down in this video just to kind of show support it is pride month support your your local pride people <laughs> i can't talk it's already been established in the other video where i kept stumbling over words and just saying things that i didn't mean um like i think i stumbled over the word middle because i was talking about like the middle of uh, eyeshadow pan and it was just it was a hard time <laughs> maybe i'll edit it out maybe not um but yes that's always an option link down below go donate there um or not donate to whatever you want because I, I can just put a link um but yes i hated a lot of the things that came out this past month i just and i hadn't really sat down and looked at them so i made this video a lot of it just felt like repackaged stuff um and that's just that's that's basically it like it just stuff that i've seen all like i would say all year but like in the past few years it's all i've seen now we're gonna start um i did kind of show this uh palette with the other one in the anti-haul video i don't know how i feel about this palette it is the melon pop artistry palette nine pan from morphe now i have tried the nine pan palettes from morphe i have the hot for hue one and it is adorable and i love it and it has the good formula because if you don't believe that morphe has two formulas going on you you, you haven't got the bad one i think that's all i can say or you've got nothing but the bad one because i've had like different palettes from morphe and sometimes they'll be good and then other times they'll be chalky and just won't stay on and just like blend into nothing like it's it's crazy you know um but the nine pan palettes formula was good when i bought that palette i don't know if they've changed it at all um because that's always an option they're 12 dollars though and it's like just a it's a little watermelon palette like i think the art on the front is cool like it's really weird looking um because it's got that overall like watermelon vibe in the background but then it has like these little weird circles <laughs> like somebody just kind of took different parts of the picture and like blew it up and just kind of stuck it everywhere and <laughs> i don't know it's cool looking um i am a sucker for the color green um, it has a few, like, green glitters or shimmers in it, which I wish one of them wouldn't have been a shimmer. It has two pinks, it has a nude, it has two more, like, champagne, creamy, glitter moments or shimmers, not glitters. And then it has two really dark colors, which I don't like for this, because I don't know, like, the rest of them, I guess, are kind of, kind of watermelon vibe, and then you have, like, those two really dark colors. But I think it is kind of cute. Like, I think I would give it a try. You know, if I if I went in and I just, I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy something today. I think I would, I think I would get it. It's $12. I'd vibe with it. I didn't vibe with the one below it because I'm going to show the picture that has the two new ones that came out. I didn't vibe with the one below it. Just, just wasn't a vibe. But, um, yeah, I really liked that one at least. Um, and then this one. I was so excited. I have uh, followed this person on TikTok, on um, Instagram as well. Um, it's the Michaela J Makeup. I don't know why that J tripped me up, but they had a partnership with Glamlight. And I, I like, it. like, I'll be honest, me, the person I am, I don't really care for kind of nudes 
colors and I know there's like some oranges in there like it's different tones of browns and stuff like if I could just have the last three rows in a palette I think it'd be amazing like they always add in the neutral colors and stuff so people can have something to make it look more natural you know but I think that is just the right amount of it for a palette because normally you see like one pop of color and then a bunch of nudes and it's like at that point it's just a new palette it's not some kind of new like different I think it has a good ratio of shimmers to mattes as well like you have you have your shimmers you have you have your different color like bright color pop of color shimmers and then you have kind of a similar tone I guess and a matte like I am in love with that mint color right there that is beautiful this is um I'm trying to see what price it was I don't think it says that's a shame um and I think there was more to this collection as well I don't think it was just the eyeshadow palette but I really liked that eyeshadow palette I think it was really cute it's something very it has like a pastel moment and then it has kind of like a bold bright moment to the side with the yellow the purple the blue I think it's a really good good palette and I've liked a lot of the glam light palettes that I have tried so I don't know I think I'd be willing to give it a try I found the other picture okay the eyeshadow palette is $42 um they also released some lashes and I think highlighters and lip glosses um I'm more eyeshadow person <laughs> um I don't get a whole lot of I don't get a whole lot of lip glosses anymore like I'll be honest like I stick to like a few certain ones because I just won't use them that much especially coming out of a panoramum um we had masks and there's no point in me wearing lipsticks everything's lifted I'm vaxxed everything's great I can wear lipsticks again but I'm still just not <laughs> I guess but um I don't know lip glosses I'm very picky about um but it is what it is I think they're probably really beautiful. I'm just gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, and yeah, the eyeshadow, or not eyeshadows, the eyelashes also look really pretty. Um, moving on up. <sighs> I've been talking for a minute. <laughs> I was ranting in the other video and now I'm just kind of talking about it. Again, I'm trying to catch my breath. Um, I don't necessarily hate these, but I don't necessarily like go out and like buy them I guess um it is the BH Cosmetics um travel series I guess I like Paris and I think um oh it's Passion in Paris Party in Puerto Rico Tanned in Tulum is the face palette so I'm probably not gonna be talking about the face palette so um I think Puerto Rico is the that's the um like yellow bread palette and then the paris one is the blue kind of palette which when i look at them i'm kind of vibing with both of them i think they have great color stories by themselves as well as together they're seven oh my god why can't i talk today 17 dollars each um and another one of these like maybe not so much in the purple palette but definitely in that yellow red palette I think that one has a good shimmer to matte eyeshadow ratio but then you see like in the Paris one it kind of has a lot more shimmers than it does mattes um I don't know I think I do like the Puerto Rico one I think I would get that one it's a nice little like sunrise kind of vibe type thing it's really pretty I think I would vibe with it um I wasn't expecting to I just kind of wanted to talk about it because it wasn't extremely awful and I need to make the video at least a few minutes long <laughs> I mean um because like I said when I said that I hated a lot of things I hated a lot of things um I'm gonna keep going so this is one this is a collection that I kind of hated as well as I kind of liked but I don't think I would ever try this unless somebody else reviews it and tells me it's good um this is just a brand that I will not buy because I've bought it in the past unless somebody says that they've changed their uh, formulas and it works a lot better now there is a Bratz X Revolution uh, collaboration going on they released 
four tiny bra uh, brat palettes for like each individual brat and I released a big palette in my anti-haul video I talked about the big palette I don't like the big palette I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's a good vibe I just I don't like it it doesn't feel brats to me I guess um I do like the idea I think they should have just stuck to the four individual palettes I think that is really cute and a good idea because that's what it's about you know is each individual one and I think the little art for it and stuff is really cute um I don't know about any of the lip stuff or the mascara or whatever I do want to talk about the little um makeup case or whatever it's fuzzy and that's cute and I think I would want that before I bought anything else because I've tried these palettes and stuff in the past I've bought two like big palettes from Revolution and they were not good at the time this was a few years ago when I was starting out in makeup and it was so bad <laughs> It was so bad. Um, and that's just my personal experience. Maybe, like I said, I hope the brand's grown and they have better formulas. So talking about these palettes, I think I said in my last video, there's two that I liked and two that I disliked, but I wasn't quite sure because I couldn't remember. I definitely like the Jade Cool Cat like um, palette. I don't know why words are losing me at this point. I do like that one. It's very cute. It has greens in it. I love it. I like the Chloe one. It's also cute. I like the little light blues that are in it. Um, and then as for, I think it's Sasha. I think that one's Sasha, the orange palette. And then the other one's Yasmin. I could be confused. Um, it's been a while since I've seen Bratz. But um, the one at the top is the orange, orange palette that has the reds and stuff in it. It looks really pretty. And I do like that one as well. Um, I don't know what it is about, like, the purples and stuff at the bottom. I, I just, I don't really like that color story, but that's just a personal opinion. Um, but those would be probably something I'd get from this collection. But until somebody tells me if they're good or not, I will not be buying them. Because I cannot waste money on palettes that don't work anymore. Like, I am a broke college student trying to get into grad school. Like, I can't, I can't be wasting money anymore. Um... Now, this popped up, like, an hour ago. Um, this is coming out in July, so I guess this should be safe for the July, but it showed up right now. Um, it is the Cabana Club by Colourpop. It has a few lips, eyeliners, lips and eyeliners. Meh, I'm not, like, too big. I keep rolling in this chair, so if I go backwards like this, that's what I'm doing, and I'm sorry. I need to be focused. I do love that, that eyeshadow palette. I really do. I think it has... Some cute pinks and purples and some yellows it looks very like sunset like you could do a sunrise look and a sunset look like i don't know i really am just drawn to that palette it's 18 dollars, and i might get it like i don't know what is just drawing me to it so much and i do love the packaging of it like i'll rip into ColourPop for just like pushing out products but every now and then and i've always said it's every now and then they'll have a like a launch that they really care about and it will look phenomenal and it's like I wish that they weren't so worried about pushing out products the way they are because I think they could have every launch look as good as this one does. Like they released the Hello Kitty stuff and I don't I don't hate the Hello Kitty stuff. I love Hello Kitty. I'm a big fan of Hello Kitty but it just looked so similar to the Animal Crossing one. I couldn't like I mean I get they probably had different colors and stuff in it but it's just like you know it's just another another launch you know but this one looks really cute. I might consider getting that palette I don't know yet but that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you made it this far into the video be sure to like comment subscribe um if you're new here if you're not new here uh turn on the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload all my social media is linked down below I love connecting with you guys on all different forms of social media <sighs> and I upload every Wednesday and Friday and I'll see y'all next time hopefully I will just be out of this weird funk that I'm currently in um and yeah bye